Okay. So, Sam, you have poured your heart and soul for many years into the Arts Foundation in this city. Um, I know that things have kind of come to a close and have changed through COVID. Tell us a little bit about that. And I would love to know what you can see in the future for Flagler County or what you would love to see us embrace within the arts community. You're right about spending uh, 20 years actually this year. Uh, the Palm Coast Arts Foundation was founded in 2004 and founded by a bunch of people from mostly New York area and a few from South Florida that were used to having the arts at their disposal. Mm -hmm. And at that point in time, we had very little. I mean, we were always going to Daytona, Orlando, Jacksonville, St. Augustine to do anything, to see anything. Yeah. And, and as a realtor, that's tough when you put people in your car and they go, where do we have to go to see a show? Yeah. So we founded, we founded on the principle of bringing quality art here. And, um, and eventually building a site. So we did get as far as getting land. It's a great parcel of land. It's about 13 acres of upland. Mm -hmm. uh, there'd be room for parking next door to build a facility. But then right after we formed, not too long after that, we got hit with first the recession, yep. which slowed everything down when many nonprofits didn't survive. We were lucky with all of our locals and, and our support that we survived that. And we're doing really well. We have a stage there. We had a stage there. We had a tent for a while. And things were progressing uh, with the city, with the county, and with the state as far as possibly erecting something on the site. At the very least, a roof over top of that beautiful stage. Mm -hmm. And then COVID hit. And uh, uh, Palm Coast Arts Foundation, as most of the arts, really survives on their events. Yeah. And if you can't have events for three years, and even after that, people still a little reluctant to come out. Yeah. It really shut us down. So the site was owned by the city. The city is now going to operate it. They'll they'll yeah. rent it. Um, there's serious discussion with the city council right now about um, being able to fund uh, putting a roof over it. So it'd be a, a regular music amphitheater type Ooh. with plenty of room in the front and the back for parking and events there. So that's what a group called United We Art, which is a new group, a new nonprofit, okay. is working with the city to get done. I love to hear that. So we might have lots of good stuff happening in the near future. There could be, there could be. We'll see what happens. Very cool. Thank you. Welcome.